An Introduction to Walter Russell's Time Dimensions and Concept of Time All phenomena in nature are repetitive. All repetition is sequential. Time is the interval between the sequences of events. Walter Russell offered a unique perspective on the universe and its workings. Central to his vision was the concept of a rhythmically balanced universe. Russell delved into the nature of time, proposing a multi-dimensional framework that extended beyond our conventional understanding. He introduced 18 dimensions of motion, each representing a way to measure the fundamental aspects of matter. The type of dimensions we are referring to are just measurements, like the length of a table or the height of a door. They are not science fiction parallel universes. Russell's 18 dimensions are just 18 ways to measure the motion of matter. By understanding these measurements of motion, we can gain insight into how matter moves and reacts with other matter. Time belongs essentially to motion and is not an attribute of substance. For Russell, time was not linear but cyclical, a continuous dance of relative motion. In Russell's model, dimensions 12 and 13 measure axial rotation and orbital revolution and these measurements hold particular significance. They provide the framework for understanding how not just celestial, but all bodies move and interact, shaping our perception of time itself. These dimensions illustrate the cyclical nature of the universe, demonstrating how matter constantly transforms through predictable patterns. By exploring these dimensions, we gain a deeper appreciation for the intricate mechanisms that govern our cosmos. Dimension 12 Axial Rotation Imagine Earth as a spinning top. This spinning motion is what Russell termed axial rotation, and measuring the duration or period it takes to complete one rotation around is an important dimension of motion to know for understanding time. As Earth spins on its axis, different parts of the planet face the sun, giving us day and night. This simple rotation is not unique to Earth. It's a fundamental motion observed in planets, stars, and even galaxies. The time it takes for one full rotation is what we call a day. However, the length of a day varies drastically across the universe. While Earth takes roughly 24 hours to complete one rotation, other celestial bodies have vastly different rotational periods. For instance, Jupiter, the largest planet in our solar system, spins much faster, completing a rotation in just under 10 hours. These varying rotational speeds highlight the diverse temporal experiences in the universe. Dimension 13, Orbital Revolution now, imagine Earth spinning like a top while also moving in a large circle around the Sun. This circular motion is what Russell called orbital revolution. It's the grand dance of planets around their stars, moons around planets, and even stars around the centers of galaxies. One complete revolution around the Sun marks a year. For Earth, this journey takes approximately 365 days. Just like with axial rotation, the duration of an orbital period or a year is not uniform across the cosmos. The farther a planet is from its star, the longer it takes to complete an orbit. For instance, Mars, being farther away from the Sun than Earth, has a year of about 687 Earth days. But Russell realized we should not compare a Mars year to Earth days, rather we should compare a Mars year to Mars days. The Cosmic Clock Time Units Across the Cosmos what we perceive as time is intimately connected to these motions of matter. A day on Earth is vastly different from a day on Jupiter, and a year on Mars is much longer than a year on Earth. This difference in temporal experiences highlights a crucial point. Time, as we understand it, is relative. Every body of matter, based on its size, mass, and position in the cosmos, has its unique clock defined by its axial rotation, orbital revolution, and the 16 other dimensions of motion. These cycles, though different in duration, are fundamental to the existence and behavior of all matter in the universe. Understanding these concepts allows us to move beyond our Newtonian Earth-centric view of time and appreciate the vast and diverse temporal tapestry of the universe. One of the most remarkable aspects of Russell's work was his discovery of universal mathematical ratios that connect these time dimensions and all the 18 dimensions of motion. He found consistent relationships between the rotational periods and orbital periods of different celestial bodies. 
These ratios, he argued, weren't random, but pointed towards a fundamental structure underlying the seemingly chaotic dance of the cosmos. These ratios, Russell proposed, offered a glimpse into the underlying order of the universe. They suggested that the movements of celestial bodies weren't arbitrary, but were governed by precise mathematical principles. By understanding these universal ratios, Russell believed, we could know the positions and predict the movements of matter from particles to planets. In Russell's concept, it must be remembered that all matter is either preponderantly contracting and coming together or preponderantly expanding and moving apart. So all effects of motion and mass must be measured in a plus dimension and a minus dimension. Russell called the plus dimension the contraction dimension and the minus dimension the expansion dimension. Therefore, all 18 of Russell's dimensions of motion, including time, must be measured in a contraction dimension and an expansion dimension. Orbital revolution, or power time, is the plus dimension, and axial rotation, or speed time, is the minus dimension. Speed time and power time are the opposite dimensions of time. While we've focused on Earth and our solar system, it's important to remember that these principles extend to all scales. Every particle in every atom and every star in every galaxy, along with its orbiting planets and moons, experiences its own unique dance of axial rotation and orbital revolution. These opposite dimensions of motions, of speed time and power time, are geared together in exact ratios. As a planet expands away from its sun, its speed time will be in direct ratio to the square of the orbit, and the power time will be in inverse ratio to the square of the orbit. In other words, as the orbit gets larger, the axial rotation speed will increase, and the orbital revolution speed will decrease. This ratio relationship helps us to calculate the exact motions of planets and stars or any mass. Even though every mass is different, the important thing is that the ratios are unchanging and universal. Imagine a planet orbiting a star much larger and hotter than our sun. Its year, the time it takes to complete one orbit, might be incredibly short due to the intense gravitational force. Conversely, a planet in a remote galaxy far from any stars might have a year that stretches for billions of years. The beauty of Russell's model lies in its elegance and simplicity. He showed that two of his 18 fundamental motions, axial rotation and orbital revolution, underpin the very fabric of our universe. These motions, expressed through the varying durations of days and years, create a beautiful tapestry of cosmic rhythms. Each celestial body, with its unique rotation and revolution, plays a part in this grand cosmic orchestra, contributing to the symphony of time that echoes throughout the universe. Understanding Walter Russell's time dimensions challenges us to expand our perception of time itself. It moves us away from the rigid, linear concept of time that we often cling to and introduces us to a more fluid and relative understanding. Time, as Russell's model beautifully illustrates, is not absolute. It's relative, dependent on the potential position of the observer's frame of reference. A day on Earth is but a fleeting moment on the cosmic scale, a mere tick of the cosmic clock. This realization instills a sense of awe and wonder, urging us to embrace the vastness and dynamism of the universe. Walter Russell's work offers a compelling and thought-provoking perspective on the universe. By highlighting the cyclical nature of the motion of matter and attaching time to these cycles, he provides a framework for understanding time that resonates deeply with those seeking a more holistic view of reality. His concept of measuring time dimensions, particularly the measurements of axial rotation and orbital revolution, invites us to see beyond our limited earthly perspective. It allows us to grasp the profound interconnectedness of all things in the universe, recognizing that we are part of a grand cosmic dance, a rhythmic interplay of creating motion that has been ongoing for billions of years and will continue repeating forever. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, please hit the like button and please subscribe if you like this kind of content and hit the bell button to be notified of new videos. Thank you to all the subscribers of the 3D Frequency YouTube channel. There is so much more in-depth Russell science to explore. Watch at 3D Frequency on X, formerly known as Twitter, for the coming launch announcement of a community on the school platform called the 3D Frequency Science Lab.
the 3D Frequency Science Lab paid community, is for people who are serious about learning Walter Russell's science concepts. Gain access to other community members who have a wealth of knowledge and resources regarding Walter Russell's concepts. Gain access to Zoom meetings with a previous chief science officer of the University of Science and Philosophy and other members. Access explainer videos on fundamental Walter Russell science concepts. Discuss comparisons of Walter Russell's concepts to traditional science concepts. See videos of experiments that prove Walter Russell's science concepts. Goodbye for now and take care.